Welcome back. So starting out the second half of the week, I'm up at Brett's here and uh, just using his bandsaw to trim off um, just a little bit of material off the ends of these uh, retraction arms there for the uh, main gear. That's bas basically how much was taken off there. And that's enough to allow me to put these large washers in place to stop um, these legs from uh, moving fore and aft. And also got some uh, lead from McMaster and cut that to the same shape as the spades there and just sort of chamfered a little bit. And you see I've got it clamped in place there. And you see I've disconnected the push rod there so I can see exactly how well that's balancing just independent of the controls. And you see there um, with that extra lead on there, it's um, balancing nicely. And uh, the trailing edge of that is aligning nicely with the wing, which is what I was going for. It ended up being about five and a quarter pounds I put on there. This one needed a little bit more uh, because of the trim tab in there, and but I kept both of them with the same weight. Uh, so ultimately, as you'll see here in a second, that the other one ends up hanging uh, hanging a little bit higher because of that weight, the extra weight that's on there. But you know, overall, those controls are connected anyway, so that will all even out um, once they're reconnected. And given that those um, extra weights I put on there was a straight up lead, I figured it was as good as time as any just to paint them. So I just, just rattle can those. And the other ones had the primer on there, so I decided just to paint those at the same time. And uh, you know, then everything would be better protected and look the same. So this is the setup now for how I'm doing this one that um, the caps um, broke off with a high sole, um, became sort of dislodged. So I'm putting a little spacer in there, which is going to hit up against the back wall um, in there, which is basically the inside of the main spar. And then obviously the washers there, the spherical bearings, and then another cap there, which goes on the cabin side there, so that won't be able to move around. And the other thing I'm working on too, while I've got the aircraft back on the blocks here, is um, going to make the changes necessary to the mount point there for where the uh, hydraulic cylinder actuates the nose gear here. I have to shorten where that hole is, so shorten that retraction arm there up on the right. And uh, that will make the gear retract fully after I change that the geometry before to make it uh, vertical. So that'll be coming up. And here you can see I've got this uh, main gear, the one on the right, uh, the left side reassembled with the washers in there after I cut down uh, those ends there. So that one's all in place now and that won't move around. Uh, anymore and that one didn't have any damage on it so not too worried about that and then here's the other one this is the one that got um, where those spherical bearings dropped out and you can see I've got the washers in there so that's all sorted out and uh, ready to go now and lastly I got the spades mounted again had to uh, buy some longer hardware those are stainless bolts in there and I had to cut them to length because they were one inch long and I needed them to be about 0.82 so they didn't stick out the bottom of the existing spades but got those done and bolted up so pretty much ready to take the aircraft out again and I'd probably just taxi it around initially and just see um, on the video how much the ailerons bo uh, bounce around if at all so that'll be uh, next time probably anyway that's the update for this week thanks again for watching and tune in again next week